implications of constant returns to scale in terms of factor demands? Okay. Any ideas? What would, what would be an implication of constant returns to scale production? Any, any implication? Yeah. So, okay, so a common feature might be that. Okay, so you might say L star of W, R, and Y. This is our conditional factor demand curves. And K star of W, R, and Y would be something like y times L star of W, R, and 1 equals y times K star of W, R, and 1. Right? That, is, that is, the factor demands are just proportional to output. If I want to produce twice as much output, I use twice as much of everything. And also, if, if a function is homogeneous of degree 1, which is this one is, what's true about its derivative? Homogeneous of degree 0. So FL of L, TL, TK equals FL of L and K. Right? That is, the marginal product of labor is the same as I move out along a ray. And same is true for the marginal product of capital. Effectively, what's going on, if you think about it in terms of the isoquants of the production function, is that if I look at the unit isoquant, this is f of L and k, equals 1. So those are all the combinations of output that produce one unit of output. And I go out along a ray. You just double this distance at each point. Right? This would be f of L and k equals 2. If this is, if I've just doubled the distance at each point, I'm not sure I drew that exactly right, but if I doubled each of those distances, I would get the, the two unit isoquant, right? All the isoquants are just radial blow ups of one another. Effectively, once I know the unit isoquant, I know all the isoquants once I have constant returns to scale. Okay? These conditions here tell us that the slope of the isoquants are the same as I move out, right? That is, the slope here is the same as the slope there, slope here is the same as the slope there, and the like. Not just the slopes are, but actually the two marginal products are the same. So the slopes are clearly the same, because both the numerator and the denominator that determine that slope are staying constant as I move out along that ray. Okay. In terms of the cost function, what does the cost function with constant returns to scale look like? C of W, R, and Y. What does it look like? How can you look at a cost function and say, oh, constant returns to scale? What will it always look like? How about this? Y, C of W, R, and 1, right? It'll always look like that. It'll always be y times a, something that depends on w and r. Okay? Where this is the fact, this is the unit cost function. That's what it costs to produce one unit of output. Okay? So constant returns to scale is greatly simplifying. Okay? It tells me that, for example, I can just, you know, Basically, you have two notions of, there are two determinants of factor demand. One is relative prices are going to determine your ratio of K to L. 
And then the level of output is going to determine how much of each factor you use, right? It's a very nice decomposition between relative prices, which affect relative factor uses, and the level of output, which just increases everything proportionally.